It is a women's 115 pound matchup between Michelle Waterson and Tisha Tiny Tornado Torres. Well, she's one of the more exciting fighters in this or any division. and she's put those to good use in the big show. And that's why everybody was so excited about her UFC debut. They understood that they were about to witness something truly special. A striker, a fighter with an ability to finish fights with her legs, with her hands, with her elbows, with her knees. There was nothing, no tool at her disposal that she would not use. She was going to use everything given to her and she has done that and that's why her performances have been so great in the UFC. Yeah, she does not discriminate. She is a true tried and tested eight point striker. So try to put on a striking clinic here tonight. Well, she's one of the more well-rounded fighters, DC, that we have in this division. A true mixed martial artist. Her first martial art was MMA. That certainly helps. Yes, she's a new breed of fighter. A fighter that as a young girl, she was brought into a gym and in that gym, she told the coaches, I don't want to wrestle, I don't want to do jiu-jitsu, I don't want to kickbox and box. I want to do it all. Right. Is there an MMA class for my daughter to take part in? She did that from day one, and you see all that development over the course of a lifetime has led her to the octagon, where she is already making her impact. Yeah, she said, I didn't want to get to the UFC until I was 100% comfortable in every situation. So far, so good for her. She's got a big one in front of her here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this strawweight fight. Torres is 30, Watterson is 34. She will have a two-inch reach advantage. Here once more is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC strawweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a kickboxer holding a professional record of 13 wins, six losses. Fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, USA, Tisha, the Tiny Tornado, Torres. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 18 wins, nine losses. She stands five feet three inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds, fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, USA, the Karate Hati, Michelle Waterson. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our third man in the octagon for this one. Ready. So round one is underway. Going to be very interesting to see how this fight plays out between one fighter who does everything well against kind of a striking specialist on the other side. And the problem with being a striking specialist is that you have to be upright. When you're facing a full-on mixed martial artist, expect a level change. We're going to see what type of improvement she's made in terms of defending herself in those wrestling situations. Right under the elbow, the body keep land. Well, there's the head kick and it lands. She, oh! You can never know what you're going to see. Things are bad. there as she gets back to her feet. There it is. Oh, wow, oh! Oh, we're getting a finish here. Now she's in trouble. Submission defense there. That's a nice job by her there to reverse the position on the ground. She was in trouble. Now she is the one handing out the punishment. Great change of position very quickly. 
at the turtle in that kick. Oh, she's got the right hand going tonight, DC. She's in a great flow, and she's throwing from her dominant side to land that great strike. It's a beautiful fastball jab with meaning. Gets tagged by the head kick there. Not sure how many more of those she can absorb if she wants to stay in this fight. Oh! Head kick! Oh! And she continues to circle towards her right. 45 seconds remain in the round. Oh, nice strike landed there by Torres. Anderson gets the takedown, could be big here. Oh, how about that reversal by her there, champ? That is a fantastic transition by this young lady. What a job. Gets up again here, but hurt. Well, maybe some panic setting in for her opponent as she continues to land with the ground and pound. She cannot deal with the pressure of the top fighter. She's so good at finding her strikes. All right, so a big round for her there as she makes her way back to the stool. There was the knockdown there in the middle of the round, DC. Talk us through it. She did a great job of really finding her spot, really recognizing an opportunity, really getting to exactly where she needed to be to finish the fight. But don't think that this young lady will rush. She'll take her time, hopefully get there again to end the night. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Round two, Michelle Watterson. And Tisha Torres. Trying to get the knees going. Get in and that leg hard. Massive head kick. Nice punch by Waters. Oh, nice high kick. Mixes it up nice. Oh, they're probably her best strike of the fight. Her best strike. You don't see this type of power normally in this weight class, but she lands and she lands. Very effective. Pretty good right hand. Wow, there is just a viciousness with which she operates here on the ground as she continues to get the ground and pound game going. She might get a finisher. She's looking for a finish. She's so good at dictating the ground stages. She's doing a fantastic job of building posture to try to land that kill shot from the top. So we pull up the numbers here, 45 total strikes that have now landed for the tiny tornado, Tisha Torres. And landing at a pretty good clip here tonight, 58% the accuracy rate against Michelle Waters. Oh, what a strike by her there. I'd be knocked out her opponent still stands. She's still standing, but she's got to get on her bike, John. She's got to get out to the center of the octagon, find some space so that she can evade her opponent from finishing her. So we have passed the midway point in the fight. Well, she did not miss a single grappling practice during this training camp, and here's your evidence. Outstanding movement on the ground. She looks like a master of grappling with the great movement that she's showing on the ground. Torres going for the head kick here, but she misses. Telegraph that strike. Watterson gets in the clinch here where she is an absolute monster. All right, so will the elbows and knees soon follow? The first step is the tie clinch. She has it here. She secured the tie. Oh, John, that was a big double leg level change. Oh, and with conviction, she moves right into half guard. Without much effort, she was able to pass from her full guard right into half guard. Watterson's got the full mount. Under a minute now to go. Well, she was long on grappling experience coming into the UFC, and you see her chops here. Just beautiful when it comes to the transition. It's very difficult to keep up with her on the ground. Oh, man, head to plan. Oh, whoa! All right, stack guard here, DC. She's got the feet on the hips if she wants to escape. Yeah, she's free. I mean, she's free. Once you get your feet on the hip, you're free, and she has... What a round. 
right, she is all smiles as she makes her way back to the stool. DC, a lot of good action there in the previous round, particularly that head kick knockdown. Talk us through it. She's a really good striker. She does everything so technically on her feet. So you knew when you were watching her land so many strikes low, eventually she would go high, and she did, and got that big knockdown that really did determine this round. Shot to the body, can wow. And just like that, the fight is over. Oh, my goodness. Well, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. Absolutely flush on the land, and I'm not even sure her opponent saw it coming. So sometimes it's the strike you don't see coming that spells your fate. And ultimately, it goes in the books as a big knockout win for her here tonight. And there she is after the massive knockout. That is one they will be talking about for quite some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop for this contest at 12 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Tisha Gattani Tornado Torres. Well, there she is, and you can be sure there's going to be a long line at the after party tonight after what she was able to accomplish tonight. I mean, she will be as popular tonight as she's ever been because no one forgets a knockout like this. It'll be on TV, it'll be on the news, it'll be available everywhere she turns for the next few weeks, and this is a massive moment for her.